called me out and called me a poser. No, no, we won't use and it. you made me talk about naked pictures. No. You, this is an epic no no right no. now. Ah, okay, we'll I'm do done with this interview. Uh, no, no. Megan Fox knows how to make your pulse race, and over the next half hour, she's going to do it with her mouth. Are we ready? The Jennifer's Body Star reveals what not to do when kissing her. If I end up with a ring of saliva around my mouth, you lose and I don't talk to you anymore. Explains why she'll never have a sex tape. Because I would always just see myself looking like a hippo having sex. And addresses her critics. F*** them. Of course, Megan's not just about talk. She also delivers an exclusive scene from her gory new flick. Plus, we bring you adrenaline, action, and apocalypse with first looks at the highly anticipated Ninja Assassin, 2012, and Clash of the Titans. But now, the creator and cast of Jennifer's Body tell you what to expect when the theater gets dark. I started thinking, like, what scares me? The zombies? <laughs> Ghosts? Teenage girls. I'm not gonna bite you. It's as scary as it gets. Hey Jennifer, you look really pretty. She's that girl that you love to hate in high school. You and me are going out tonight. Wear something cute, okay? She ends up coming across this band that comes to play in her small town. We come here tonight to sacrifice the body of Jennifer. When you improperly sacrifice someone, the victim is inhabited by a demon. And now she has to feast on flesh and she starts eating boys. You're killing people. No, I'm killing boys. You see, my character have to save the entire town. Jennifer's evil. I know. No, I mean, she's actually evil. Not high school evil. So welcome to my hotel room. Um, I hope you enjoy what I've done for you today. I think it's lovely. Is it? Yeah. So let's settle in. Okay, if I, if I had met you in high school, A, you wouldn't be talking to me, obviously. But if you were talking to me, no? You're so wrong about that. Really? Yes. You talk to anybody in high school? Well, that, but I also always talked to people I thought were interesting. I was not like, I only talked to people who were... Right. Like the Adonises of the school. That was not me. I was not in so that crowd. So you're crap. saying I don't that's, have a good you body. You insinuated okay, that yourself. And that's not. It's cool. You, but let's just move on. You're the sexiest man in glasses I've ever seen. Megan Fox just said you are the wisest woman I have ever met. <laughs> the initial question was how was I in high school? We can I continue on I, that topic. I was never a mean girl. No. No, I was always the outcast. I was never like super quiet. I've always had, I call it a sense of humor. Like I've always sort of liked to push people's buttons. He need a manny bad. The goody girls were the popular girls were the ones that hated me. Just because I didn't really conform to their idea of. Jennifer obviously is also like very sexually confident. She uses her sex appeal to, you know, get what she wants. Yeah. In high school, had you discovered that, that you could use sort of? No, I didn't. I was out of high school before I even did the deed the first time. What are we talking about? The deed, the, I, the thing that you do. I am very innocent. I don't you understand what, what you're talking about. about. More Megan in just a moment. Plus, we'll unveil the first finished clip from the kick-ass flick Ninja Assassin. But right now, John Cusack tries to survive Armageddon, or at least the flight from hell, in this exclusive scene from 2012. We just lost in the last two It's going to sound crazy, but here's what you have to do. Engine start. Voice control. We've only seen you in a few films. Mm -hmm. And you've been, with all due respect, you've been kind of like the girl in those films. And you haven't really had to carry a film. Do you feel yourself like you have something to prove with this one? 
I didn't really think about it that way. I just went into it and tried to be as honest as possible. And granted, some of the scenarios, some of the situations are sort of outrageous. And if people receive that as a better performance than I gave in Transformers, then it's good for me. If not, then, I mean... You'll keep trying. F them. <laughs> How could I ever be insecure? I was the snowflake queen. Do you think that legitimately this is, this is your best work to date? Well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but why? Uh, why do you think that? You know, the character was really fleshed out just in the script with Diablo's writing. When the character's already on the page, it's just a much easier job to do. I mean, is there a biggest difference you can cite between the sets you've been on and this one? I think we only had one explosion on this movie. Which is more your speed, you think, having come out of... I don't know. You get addicted to those big action movies. You get addicted to the Bayham. You step away from it and... You're relieved and you're relaxed and you do something else that's quieter and you feel like you're figuring things out. But then you sort of miss that abuse. Do you look ahead? Like, do you have aspirations? Do you wonder, like, where you're going to be do in I five or ten? Do I have aspirations? Well, <laughs> I hope you do. Have a will to live? I don't know. What are you? Um, yeah, I have aspirations to basically just keep working and keep improving, hopefully. I don't have a specific um, type of movie I want to do or a specific director that I want to work with. just want to... Keep working. I like it. All right. Love you. It. This is the clash of the titans for the new century. If I end up after kissing you with a ring of saliva around my mouth, you did something very wrong, and you lose, and I don't talk to you anymore.